model nine modifying parts. Clever elements direct modeling express offers a number of operations yet assigned for modification of the parts. Two groups are responsible for this modifier 3D and engineering. These comments allow you to move the faces almost without limits. Create solid parts by lifting 2D profiles into a solid object or remove material in such way. You can also cut and copy specified faces to recognize features from a part. You can also change the surface geometry of a touched face so that it aligns with the geometry of a reference face or reference plane with the align command, like happening now in our example. You can offset any number of faces belonging to parts. You can change multiple faces radiuses in a single step or mirror one or more parts or assemblies. The blend operations smoothly connect faces, modify or remove blends. Using blend operation, you can blend edges with a changeable radius along the length. Pro Elements Direct Modeling Express blends up to six edges that have a common vertex. There are some options in the dialog box of the Create Blend command. First of all, select Type of Blend, Constant Fab 2 over N. Then enter the radius value. You can use the dialog box, user input line or drag copilot in the viewport to see how the radius will look like. If you create a virtual radius blend, set the start radius and the end radius. You can also uh, set additional points in the ver end radius blend by clicking on the desired points along the edge. Like you see, we do it now in the screen. You can also uh, click Edit Definition to change the definition of the current blend. For example, to change the type of the blend or select other edges to create the blends of the selected type. Click Change Selection if you want to select all tangentially connected edges with a single click. Select an uh, Intersect option in the behavior control box or curvature continuous to create a smooth transition between blend boundaries. You can also set the affected control options that allow you to decide which existing blends are affected by new blends. When you'll get used to Creo and your work will become more complicated, you will need to pay more attention to some blend edge restrictions like local modification, convex and concave, vertex regions, blend on top of a ribbon, blend hierarchy and so on. You can blend multiple edges. For these purposes, use select menu from the utilities group and by vertex method to specify a common vertex. Define common radius or select edges and set different radius for each of them. With Square Elements Direct Modeling Express, you can chamfer your edges in the following ways. With a constant distance along adjacent faces, with two distances along such faces, or with a constant distance and a fixed angle with respect to one adjacent face. To chamfer the edges by the chamfer common from the engineering group, you need to specify the edges. All the edges that you select uh, will be highlighted in yellow. Select a type of a chamfer and enter a value for distance and angle. You can also specify options like show or not feedback and labels. And you see the result. You can consider taper operation as adding an angle to the part faces in order that the part can be removed from a mode after it has been cast. You should define faces to be tapered, draft plane and draft angle. To define a draft plane, specify a draft point to position the plane and direction in the viewport as draft deer. The tape operation either adds or removes material from the part depending on the taper angle. If the part lies on the positive side of the draft plane, a positive taper angle will remove material from the part. First make a tape operation and then blend operation. You can modify a radius of cylindrical face using the radius command. You can specify a single face or group of faces to modify a radius value. Use the select tool or hold shift to create a list of faces. Any selected faces will be highlighted in yellow. 
The radius of cylindrical phase cannot be changed to zero. To remove such phase, use the delete phase command. Using the offset command, you can offset single phases or modify thickness of shell part. A negative distance value offsets a face inside and a positive value offsets a face outside. This command keeps all attributes for faces that are offset, mostly attaching bulges and retaining the original blend radius, but the blend may still be changed during the completion of the operation. Creo Elements allows to align the surface geometry of specified phase that is called change phase by the geometry of reference phase that is called ref phase. To align a phase to a reference phase means to extend or contract it until the projection of the geometry containing the reference phase. There are some options available in the Align menu, like Offset that aligns phases with an offset, Keep 10 that preserves the tangential transition between adjacent phases and the preview option that allows you to see the result of operation before finishing it. Creo allows you to cut specified phases or recognized features from a part keeping the original solid model. When cutting phases, Creo removes the phases in their edges. The system reconnects those residual edges which have identical geometry. Keep tool uh, option keeps the cut faces or features as a single part tool. The new tool, a face part, can be positioned, modified or copied. Creo also copies faces from a part, leaving the original part unchanged. The new face may be positioned, copied and modified as while well working with usual 3D objects. The copied face is highlighted in Cyan. Select geometry only if you want to copy geometry without labels, color or blends. The copied face of part is displayed, displayed as an individual part in the structure browser. Select an option to place copied face from the position menu. Now we are going to paste the copied part P2 that will be called the tool in dialog box to the existing GPS device. It will be called to part in the dialog box. Transfer the tool to a suitable place using different modeling functionalities. The system automatically adds the node indicating whether the operation will add or subtract material from the part. We put the tool at the same place where we removed the copied one. Let's now make like an example a two-sided TV set and use mirror command that allows you to mirror parts about mirror plane that you define. The mirror command does not keep the original part, just modifies the position of the selected parts. To keep an old one and create new, switch the copy flag on. To set the mirror plane, specify normal direction using axis 3D tool. If you are unsure of where the mirror plane will actually lie, you can always create or move a work plane to the right position and use the appropriate options in the axis 3D tool to specify the mirror plane normal. You can increase or reduce the size of parts or assemblies with the scale option. Creo displays the scaling axis Px, Py and Pz to let you specify the direction of scaling and the center about which the scaling takes place. Enter the scaling factor in the dialog box or in case of need specify a new part origin. As you see in our example, um, we need to move surrounding faces to fill the appeared gaps. It is quite easy to do with Creo Element Direct Modeling Express Commons Move and Strange. Creo provides possibility to analyze the draft angle or taper of a part. The given analysis is useful for plastic design and highlights areas on the model that do not satisfy given draft parameters. Such parts may be difficult or impossible to remove from the mod. You can apply the draft analysis to an entire part or a list of faces. Creo uses a color distribution to display the analysis results. The positive angles are displayed in the first color green. The middle color red represents angles close to zero and the last color blue represents negative angles.